Hi everybody, Terry here. I wanted to do a share I got, um, I received in the mail today, my second entry for my um, 200 subby challenge giveaway. My first challenge real giveaway um, ever. And um, haven't had a whole lot of activity, but it's been really fun because earlier this week I got the entry for Marilyn G. Um, in the mail and it, it's just wonderful and this one is from Tracy at Chi Town Tracy C-H-I-T-O-W-N T-R-A-C-I and um, this is her entry she showed a video um, of it so I will I'll do a fairly quick share um, she didn't show the card she sent me so I will show that to you in a minute, um, but this is a tin that she altered, and um, she put this her human eyeballs. It says so in it are these these really fun human eyeballs, and these are props that I am going to use decorations for Halloween, but also for my um, our family uh, uh, Harry Potter themed birthday party that we're going to have for the first first week or so of November. And, um, so I was looking for, um, decorations or altered items that, uh, kind of went along with the Harry Potter theme. And I mean, this definitely does, um, the, the, the spider, you know, one of the movies or books had the, the big, huge spider and the, um, guy, I, I'm not the fan that, that my family members are, but you know, the guy with the, the weird eye that goes all different directions. Anyway, <laughs> that's what this reminds me of. And this is, so this is, uh, uh, her human eyeball entry. And, um, that is going to be really fun to display for the party. And then I wanted to show you this card it is just beautiful that she sent me she left it blank inside so that I could um, give it um, to one of the um, birthday um, people my my sister-in-law my my daughter and my daughter-in-law all have a birthday in the next couple weeks and so we're going to be celebrating their birthday um, with this party um, because they're all huge Harry Potter fans anyway so this is the card she sent me, and I um, watched one of her old videos and and um, found out that she made all these frames um, at, with uh, Martha Stewart 24-hour um, dry clay. So you just, it's a flexible clay, and um, so she made those and probably painted them black and, and uh, put some silver on them, and then... Um, just puts a, a little crow in there with some, uh, um, and then this is probably a charm, a really cool charm. And then um, this is just a plastic uh, hand rubbed with uh, black. But she also makes these roses um, with the Martha Stewart silicone mold. And these are hard. These aren't flexible like the other ones. And um, the really cool thing about this is I have seen um, cards and mini books made with paper bags, but I have never done one myself or seen one in person. I've just seen it on video. And this is a card that she made um, with a paper bag. And I have tons of paper bags and um, haven't tried a mini album, but this would be perfect um, so I'm going to get them out and I'm going to attempt some cards with the paper bags that I have. And so um, you open it up and this is a nice um, pocket here for putting things and then just really pretty. And then it's got another pocket right here um, for things. And she did put some things in there for me and I'll show you that in a second. And then this is um, her thing. Um, handmade by yours truly, Chi Town Tracy. And then she's got some really nice seam binding that, that tied it all up. So this is perfect, Tracy, for me to give away, but also now I'm going to make some before I give it away so that I can um, learn how to make the beautiful cards out of paper bags. So, and inside my box, um, what was really fun inside the card 
she tucked um, in the little thing, uh, domino um, images, some images to use um, for dominoes. And I have dominoes, and I that's another thing I haven't tried. And um, look at these really cute cats. And I've got a calico cat, so um, really cute images. So I will be using that, um, some of her images, for some projects um, that I have coming up. And then also this little, she sent me this little package of um, envelopes, just little teeny envelopes. And um, these are really cute. And I will... Um, I don't know if I'll hoard these or use these. I don't know. They're pretty cool, Tracy. So thank you so much. She had them in a little, cute little bag like this with just a little bit of seam binding and netting on the top, um, which is fun. But the really cool thing she sent me is a bunch of pre-made um, molded um, embellishments, I guess I'll call them for lack of a better word. Um, and these were all made from the Martha Stewart 24-hour um, dry clay um, from molds she has. And I think she said um, on a one video I watched, like this bee um, mold, she made the mold out of uh, something she had and then made her own mold. And um, so very, very cool. And she, all of these were in there. And I don't know if you, there's a butterfly. Um, and these are just wonderful. I'm going to have so much fun with these, um, using them on projects and cards and um, some projects that I have upcoming. So, Tracy, thank you so much. It's so fun to see something new um, that I probably wouldn't have seen before or to do something new. And it um, kind of inspires you to want to do something different or new or different. And um, I know Tracy has um, a hundred subby challenge going on that goes on till the middle of uh, November, and so if you um, are interested, go. You can go check out her um, channel um, and find information. Um, her her channel is Chi Town Tracy, and um, find out information on her giveaway. Um, it's to um, do a um, an altered yeah. steampunk item and I've never done steampunk in my life but you know after seeing this stuff and I went and looked at a video and stuff like that it's like you know what I think I could do that I really think I could do that so I am um, I'm seriously considering or, or in the planning stages of what I'm going to do to enter Tracy's um, challenge so uh, if you um don't do steampunk and, and are up for a challenge. You should go check out her um, video. And if you do do steampunk, um, you should consider um, entering her, her challenge. So thank you for watching and have a nice um, rest of the weekend.